curiosity, a word that founded itself off the Latin ideal curiosus, which means to be careful, diligent, and meddlesome. All definitions a bit contradictory and peculiar, and possibly why, in the 18th century, the English language adopted the new definition, eager to know or learn something. It was then it seemed that the inquisitive nature of curiosity fell into the English language, activating all kinds of excitement and arousal surrounding knowledge for centuries to come. Of course, the idea of curiosity has been around for much longer. From the beginning of time, foragers pondered elegant travel on wild horses from which they tamed, to hunters dreaming of tantalizing buffalo on a tribal barbecue. It's no wonder why our thoughts and curiosities are crucial to our development as a human race. So crucial, in fact, it was once said that the first and most simple emotion which we discover in the human mind is curiosity. It's the first thing our mind naturally does, almost like some mandatory human initiation. As babies, we ask ourselves simple questions like, what's this and who's that? Knowledge that becomes crucial to who we are as a person. And it is with age and time that we begin to ask ourselves more complicated questions like, why am I here and where do we go? Curiosity is also what has fueled so many adventures, some to a new round world, some to the moon, and some to even casual single women traveling in an eat, pray, love fashion. When someone is curious about something, the entire brain takes part in forming an opinion of unknown knowledge. A part of the brain most in charge of this process is called the Reticular Activating System, or RAS. The RAS is responsible for absorbing and gaining knowledge of your surroundings, such as taste, touch, sight, sound, and smell, filtering our thoughts and actions on new information. So when you experience something unknown or interesting, it is partly because your Reticular Activating System has chosen to focus on it. The RAS sits right along the brainstem, near the hippocampus and limbic reward system, making it easy for you to enjoy interesting things and remember them. Because of the location of the RAS, when senses are aroused by really interesting things, the limbic reward system releases good-feeling chemicals like serotonin and dopamine. Unfortunately, there are times when curiosity may be compromised by simple human misfortunes, like lack of time, disability, and discouragement. When this happens, the effects on the brain are enormous. In a study done at Beaver College by Dr. Mary and Ms. Rondino, third and fourth grade students who experience less curiosity, creativity, and inquisitive behavior revealed low levels of autonomy. It also showed signs of neglect manifest in their concentration, attention, and effort. Often these children are more prone to behaviors of self-reproach, which lead to giving up, passivity, avoidance, and resistance, most likely due to the lack of serotonin and dopamine usually involved with curiosity. <laughs>